Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are taking a look at the JBL Go to Bluetooth speaker. So this is a speaker I got from my brother for Christmas and so it's a Bluetooth and it is actually a speaker that's pretty cool. It's small, it's red and so let's, uh, let's take a look quickly. So for some of the features, 5 hours battery life, IPX7 waterproof and of course Bluetooth, so those are the key features. Um, so of course on the box they, they're gonna brag about their word. Uh, we all know how those word works, so I wouldn't actually take that as a decision making thing. Um, either way, uh, let's uh, let's see what's, uh, what's in the box. So I do like the fact that they um, have it in that basically transparent box. If you pick that one from the store, then you can quickly see what the color looks like. Um, if like me, you bought things online in the past, it's always a bit difficult to actually, you know, know what the color is going to be actually like in reality. So it's actually quite nice, the box is transparent. So here we got the speaker, so let's try to, to take it out of there. Okay, so nothing special there, and now I guess that underneath should be the box with cables if I actually get it out. Hmm, there's no easy way to take it out. Well, JBL, if you're watching this, <laughs> maybe you should you should pick up something to take it out. Because yeah, it's not. Bad. There we go. Okay, so this is just plastic. So let's see. So in there we got we got paper, paper and something that is I suppose a cable. So let's try to take it all out. So it comes out. It's all in a plastic pouch. And so we have here. Um, let's try to unwrap this. Seems like they they wrapped the, the whole manual around the cable there. Okay, so interesting. So the manual and the cable, micro USB cable, by the way. So no Type C here. You know, if you guys are watching that channel for a while, how I love my Type C. All right, so Daniel with a big warning sign. I'm pretty sure that's because there's a battery in there. So obviously if you're taking that uh, into the plane, take it with you as a carry-on and not as a cargo. Uh, it's probably also a warning that it's, uh, it's waterproof, but it's probably not something that you'd completely immerse out of water. Um, I don't exactly know what's the difference between IPX7 and IP X, uh, IP7, but I would assume one is for probably like just, um, you know, water resistance and things. All right, so in the manual, they show you that this little thing on the side can be opened. How do you open that? Yes, oh, yep. Yeah. So underneath, there should be... Okay, so that's where we have a... A jack and also a micro USB connector to charge it. Um, so from here I can already notice something strange and maybe it's just me but you guys will probably notice it as well. The cable is not it's not the same color than the actual speaker. It's orange. So it's JBL orange because that same orange is also on the box. But it's not the it would have been cool to have a matching cable that goes with the color of the speaker. So to turn it on, just basically, there yeah, we go. So you just press that power thing, and if you wanted to switch it off, you press it again. So actually, on the top, there's only uh, four buttons. So there's one for power, there's a plus and minus for the volume, and there's a Bluetooth one, which I assume is for pairing. Uh, so you just long press it, and it would uh, just pair with your phone. So actually, talking about pairing, let's, let's pair it to, to my phone. So I go into the settings, Bluetooth. Um, wait, let me check where that is. Yeah, Bluetooth, and then it should actually look for the device. 
Um, so make sure the, the speaker is in pairing mode, otherwise it will not show up. So I also know that this uh, speaker can be connected to multiple phones, so it can be paired to multiple devices at once. Uh, and I know for some people this is super useful. Um, just make sure that the Bluetooth of the other devices are off, otherwise they're all fighting for who's connected to the speaker. So just listen out guys and tell me what you guys think actually. I'd say it's not bad actually, it's it's pretty decent, it's, uh, it's gonna be a great speaker to be put in my kitchen. Uh, I have my my actual sound system in my living room, but it's not nearby the kitchen, so it's gonna be great to, to have some music over there in my kitchen. So yeah, I mean, all in all, pretty good speaker, look at the size as well, it's pretty compact. This is my iPhone 8 next to it, so it's not a big smartphone either, so it's, it's fairly compact. I don't have massive hands as well, so it is actually quite nice it comes with that kind of like a metallic grill or grid in front of the speakers and the the back the whole plastic around it feels like a smooth plastic so it's quite it's quite a nice finish and you can see it's waterproof because it's all tightened up it's all like there's no opening besides that little that little thing on the side where you have the the charging port basically other than that there's nothing there's nothing where water can get in so it's a, it's a pretty, pretty cool device so thanks guys for watching let me know what you think if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel. I'm just starting out on YouTube. Any help is appreciated. Thanks a lot and have a good day.